Welcome to my YouTube channel, Anagil Chen. Please, please like, subscribe, and click the notifications bell. Well, for today's video, ituturo ko po sa inyo kung paano po mag-send ng pera galing sa Taiwan to Pilipinas. New Taiwan Dollars to Philippine Pesos. And of course, punta po tayo ng Play Store para po mag-upload ng APP na ito na ang tawag ay Fee Mobile, Fee Free Mobile or Fee Mobile App. Actually, may meron na po akong uh, app nito. So, uh, i-update ko na lang po siya. Need to be updated din po siya. So, we always check it in our Play Store para ma-update po ang ating app na ang tawag ay Fee Mobile. Kinala na nung, kailangan lang po natin ang siran po dyan yung mga kailangan nila. Which is the password and the username. And of course, kung hindi ka pa or wala ka pang account nito, punta ka muna po ng sign up. Meron po dyan sa baba. And please don't forget to like, subscribe on my YouTube channel Anna Gail Chen. Ayan po sign up. Meron po dyan sign up sa baba. Kung hindi ka po, wala ka pa pong account sa fee mobile. Mabilis lang po siya. Sure po yun. Chica service fee only for 59 NT from July 1 to 31, 2022. Ayan. Updated po yan siya. 2022 na po tayo ngayon. Ayan, andyan na po tayo. Ang rate po natin ngayon, nakikita nyo naman, is 1.8496. And, ang ituturo ko po sa inyo dito is ang magpadala po ng pera or send money in English. Ayan po, sir, po, loading po po tayo. This is applicable for Filipino workers and ARC holders that have Taiwanese husbands or wives. Ayan, magsisend na po tayo, magpilip po tayo dyan, bank pickup, cash card, pay maya, or gcash. And then, kung kailangan po natin ng select ad beneficiary, punta lang po tayo, ta tap lang po natin yung plus sign. And, pwede na po tayo magdagdag kung ilan po ang gusto natin yung beneficiary. And of course, sa baba po dyan, choose po ang reason bakit po magpadala tayo, family or living, expenses, charity, donation, and all sa baba na mga reasons. And of course, uh, if you, ang chinus ko po dito is through bank po. And itype po natin kung magkano po yung ipapadala natin. For example, 8,000 or 8,500 or whatever you like with the service charge of $97.97 New Taiwan Dollars Ayan po, nagta-type na po tayo sa so nakikita nyo po Pwede po tayo magbayad po through 7-Eleven barcode code sa my cashier or 7-Eleven QR code through Ebon, Family Mart, Far East Express or ATM Transfer Mobile Banking and then, may agreement po tayo dyan. We need to sign. And of course, uh, mga policies nila, you need to read it too. Ayan. Uh, we are already success. And of course, there is only 10 minutes down below sa receipt natin para bayaran po natin ito. So, kung hindi po natin makaya po yung 10 minutes, we can change it to a new receipt. Up there po, meron po dyan sa taas. Ayan. Just pindot-pindot there. Just tap it and you can have it a new one. A new receipt to use to pay through the cashier or through the choose you want. And then after that, uh, they will send you a message if you already sent a transaction will be processed as a thanks for ease, inquiry call, sir 989, like that and it choose and all. And of course, you need to check your notifications too. To, may meron din po silang ipapadala na message sa yung app na notification. And then, after that, makikita mo dyan sa may notification mo, payment pending or payment process, payment received, processing, the transaction is now being processed. And of course, it can also be ready to claim. The remittance cannot Yes, notifications. The notifications bell is there, right? As you can see, may meron po dyan tayong notification bell so that you will always be updated 
kung saan ay yung pera mo. Napaprocess na ba? Na-delivered na ba? Or nasa bangko mo na talaga, ba? Diba? Ayan, so as you can see, na-ready to claim na siya and na-delivered na siya. So again, thank you so much. Hope you learned a lot. Thanks for watching. Please don't forget to subscribe and click the notifications bell so that you will always be updated on my latest videos. Thank you so much!